Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to create a category subcategory selector using LiveWire. This is what we are going to create. You can choose the category and the subsequent subcategory will appear on the subcategory list. For the fruits, you get fruits and for the vegetables, you get vegetables. Let's jump into the VS code. Here, as you can see, I have created a category model and inside this, I have set the guided property of ID and created two relationship with itself for the parents and the child. Here is the category migration. And also, I have saved some data to the category table. Now, let's create our LiveWire component PHP Artisan Make LiveWire Category Subcategory. And uh, it will create two files one is inside the LiveWire folder, which is your class file. Let's first define the properties. category and subcategory let's create the mount function which will we use to initialize the variables the categories will be initialized by the category with the parent id 0 which is the root parent and the subcategory will be initialized with an empty array let's go inside the blade file and create a select input let's add some options and uh, we are going to loop through uh, the categories using for each directive after that let's create a route for the component let's check in the browser as you can see all the category is showing fruits and vegetables uh, let me just quickly style it a little bit i am using tailwind css here you can pause the video and do the styling it looks it looks good now let's create uh, a variable for category id to be bind copy this add the where model inside the select which will bind the variable with our live wire component now each time the category id update a lifecycle method updated category id will be called let's define this method and uh, assign the subcategories with respect of the category id fetch the data from the category where parent id will be the category id
let's copy the select and uh, change it for the subcategory now let's check it in the browser as you can see no subcategory will be selected now all the fruits are showing and now let me check the vegetables yeah all the vegetables also showing correctly we need to add one more thing let me change the category id to subcategory id and make a variable of this subcategory id now the data doesn't go away you can use it in your project thank you so much for watching till then bye bye